breast cancer has been a different challenge because it's not thought of as being an immune sensitive disease mainly because breast cancer cells look so much like self and so there's not the generation of much immune response but the advent of checkpoint inhibitors has started a whole uh, a large field of trying to understand the immunogenicity of breast cancer and that started with looking at tumor infiltrating lymphocytes and trying to better understand the relationship of tumor infiltrating lymphocytes to outcome and so far what's been found in the neoadjuvant and adjuvant setting is that the most aggressive subtypes of breast cancer triple negative HER2 positive they do better if they have a lot of TILs versus less TILs uh, which suggests that there is a very much an immunogenic uh, sort of process going on that breast cancer is immunogenic that the host immune response plays a very critical role so checkpoint inhibitors uh, the uh, idea is that your the immunogenicity of the cancer is related to having neoantigens which have been associated with mutational load and if you look at the uh, TCGA data triple negative breast cancer of course has a higher mutational load than say ER positive luminal A slow growing breast cancer so this was the natural first target for checkpoint inhibitors so there have been two phase 1b essentially uh, single agent uh, expansion trials in triple negative breast cancer uh, that showed response rates that were remarkably similar 18.5 percent for uh, pembrolizumab and 19 percent for atezolizumab a pd1 and pdl1 inhibitor respectively uh, also quite interestingly these responses were very durable there are some reports of patients who've had uh, pseudo progression but it's quite uncommon uh, we do see it but it's uncommon now it may be that keeping patients on for longer and uh, waiting longer to see response now that we understand a little bit better how to use these agents will help us in terms of uh, improving response but of course these single agent you know response rates are quite interesting but not good enough so the next step is really uh, thinking about combination therapies to improve uh, the response and response duration and of course eventually to move that into the early stage setting